slightly different format for this one. I feel like I should be presenting the news. Um, well, it is news of such, really, I suppose. Um, P2 grips. It's simple review for us, to be perfectly honest with you. There's a difference in a standard grip, uh, and I'm not going to put any other brands up because, see, ultimately, that wouldn't be fair. This is a review of uh, P2. The, um, the effective difference of a grip when you look at it in terms of profile isn't plainly obvious when you pick it up. So you put that in hand, feels really nice in the hands, nice tacky material and you can see some nice sort of flash designs, you know, some different colours, different colours on here, we've got, we're going into some of the yeah, I suppose newer designs, sort of a, almost like a shield um, sort of style. It's got a little bit of a pointy back, kind of fits into the fingers quite nicely. And, a, and as far as these grips are concerned, you know, variable widths across the front, so you can get the thumbs a little bit more parallel or you know, together. Um, slightly deeper shield on this one, so it's more sort of longer, uh, deeper in the back. A little bit more sort of flat sided, I suppose. Um, so, in all of these, so the Reflex Tour, you can see uh, ultimately what that is is a, sort of a longer shield. It's quite light as well, and I think if I remember rightly, this was around about the 80 gram mark. It feels uh, lighter than that, um, but that's probably because I've just been picking up and working with this one here. It's the Classic Core. Um, quite heavy, the classic core, um, around 120, uh, 425 grams on those ones, and then there's a, and there is a heavier one this in the React core, so this is the um, more sort of traditional shield shape. Um, and ultimately, this one's around about 150 grams, so there's variable weights, and part of that's going to change the balance of the club. So if you've got your shorter club offering, then the heavier uh, grip is going to help to balance things out. Of course, also you'd need a heavier head weight for the shorter club. Now, those of you that know me, I'm no fan of a short club. So ultimately, when we're looking at these grips, what are the purposes? Well, shape is one of the first things. When you pick up a club, shape and texture is what's going to fit the hands. And that, for me, is something that's really important. I'm not a fan of uh, big grips. Uh, I wouldn't say these in particularly fall into big grip category, but this would definitely be bigger than uh, a mid-size grip. So, you know, for me, um, you know, these these sort of bigger grips, I've not got the biggest hands, so I'll, you know, I've never really been a huge fan uh, of the oversized grip. We know that from a point of view, you know, players have been told that you know the bigger the grip the easier it is for you to grip light now you know if that is the case I don't want you to grip light and the reason for that is because I want you to have control over the club head if you're controlling the club head which is 90% of the golf ball start line then you've got better control over how many shots you're going to have per round so the bigger fatter grips I'm no fan of um, and I'm certainly no fan of holding it light like a bird with a broken wing so the putter head can move around literally just flapping around in the wind. Um, the Wear Tour, the lightest of all the grips, I say this one was around about 54, 55 grams and it kind of, you know, I, I quite like the, the size and fit of that. I'm, I'm not against um, a flat uh, part of the grip uh, being sideways on. I remember with one of the other brands many years ago, we used to turn around sideways. They used to sit more this way. Um, again, I'm not going to mention the brand because that's not fair uh, in this particular video. But ultimately, um, turning it around so you've got more of the flat of the of the grip against the flat of the hand. You know, we. I think there's an, there's something in that that helps you feel that palms are together. Again. As long as you've got a good purchase of the grip, I'm quite liking that as a feel and a process of swinging the putter. Now, the difference, P2. P2 significant difference is where the shaft, uh, or where the grip sits, or how the grip sits on the shaft. Ordinarily, the shaft will fit here. So, in effect, the, the vertical line of the shaft will come up the flat part of the grip. With P2, it's more down the back, so the centre is here, you know, if you look in the profile you'll see that 
There's the center uh, where it will slide over the shaft, but the exterior point of that will be further back. And what that does is it sets the grip further forward. Now we've got one on a, one I've put on a club, and you can see from the shaft profile here that the shaft profile is much further back than a standard grip would be. And so what that's encouraging is much more of the grip higher up in the palm uh, and gaining a little bit of ulnar deviation, so a little bit of forward flex here of the wrist, so this forward flexing here. So that's all the deviation, so essentially the wrist is set down here. It's allegedly going to promote less of a wrist break at the point of impact. Of course, if you follow my teaching, you'll know that the wrist break is only caused through poor posture. So if you get posture right, you don't need an ulnar deviation in your grip. That said, this definitely promotes a more stable wrist through the stroke. And if you feel that it's going to be a benefit to you, then I would definitely say, go and have a look at the P2 grips. Prices will vary depending on where you go, so check them out before you go. And of course, stockists, you need to check those out as well. You go on the P2 uh, website, then you'll be able to, we'll put the information will be below. But if you go on their website, you'll be able to see, uh, I'm sure where the stockists are. And if not, you can contact the company direct and they will point you in the right direction. The grips are, have got a really nice feel. Like I say, in terms of promotion of the ulnar deviation, I am not a fan, but that's not to decry the fact that this grip is very well made and designed to do something that's quite specific, and it will definitely do that. So um, if you feel that that's gonna help your putting, or if you'd like to talk to me, or the guys at P2, feel free to contact either of us on the information below. All in all, lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes, some different colours, so I think there's a grip, possibly, for everybody out there. Give them a try.